the beginning of the 20th century, this uh, lake was dammed for uh, first for water supply and then later for hydroelectric power. And the sockeye run, the, the, the fish that used to go to the ocean, no longer could. Without an accessible outlet to leave Coquitlam Lake, the sockeye evolved into a landlocked salmon known as kokanee that adapted to surviving exclusively in freshwater lakes. And for close to a hundred years, that is how they have remained. A hundred years ago, these sockeye came up this river, and when they came up the river, it was black. And that's all you could see is the fish coming up there. And this, fish ha uh, this river hasn't seen this fish in a hundred years. Because the reservoir has been drawn down in the last few years to allow construction of a new dam, a low-level water outlet near the base of the spillway was enough to entice kokanee smolts to escape downstream to the lower Coquitlam River and head out to the ocean. And in 2007, two returning sockeye salmon suddenly appeared back up the Coquitlam River. And it was too late to come up here and, um, and recover them. There was no real um, plan set out to truck, trap and truck them up here. And so they just happened to die. They, it was too late. Okay, pull the bag open. But in 2008, the Salmon Restoration Committee was ready. On July 18, 2008, the first adult Coquitlam sockeye swam up a creek channel built to mimic the dominant flow from the reservoir and into a fish trap. This uh, facility here is part of the trap and truck operation, which is to trap the, uh, allow us to trap the sockeye and allow us to capture it and conveniently trap and truck it up over the Coquitlam Dam, uh, which uh, currently is a, a, a physical barrier that uh, if uh, this diversion fence was not here, the sockeye would be attracted into the area where the Coquitlam watershed and the lake exits through a tunnel. We don't want the sockeye to enter the tunnel or we can't get at them. Sockeye salmon, uh, if they come back up, they will spawn and live in that reservoir. And so uh, they basically have to coexist with the drinking water uh, part of the picture. What we've done is we've set up a three-year program so we can get some idea that if fish were uh, being re-established in Coquitlam Reservoir, uh, what might we expect to see in terms of populations and how that affects uh, drinking water quality. The Quiquetlam have long historical ties to the Coquitlam watershed area, and sockeye salmon are an intrinsic part of their history. In fact, the literal translation of Coquitlam by the Quiquetlam nation is red fish up the river. Say, welcome home to Quiquetlam. Come on, baby. It did it! It did it! I think our interim goal uh, is to uh, handle the fish that return back as we have today through the trap and truck. And the thoughts were that uh, the facilities would very likely be sufficient up to a few thousand fish. Oh my goodness. Since the first release, nine more sockeye have arrived. And the first of these was later the same day. Quiquetlam First Nation stopped uh, fishing the Coquitlam River in 1983 because it was endangered. And so our goal and our hope is one day that we can have this one so strong and so big that one day our people will be able to go back to the Coquitlam and start fishing them again. There is no doubt about it that our children will see these fish come home and they'll enjoy the benefits that we've done.